So this thing on Thursday, March 9th, 2023, was at Rattlesnake Hill and left at 11.53 a.m. and then came to my property, 11.53 a.m. and stayed here on my property till 10.30 p.m. and then left at 10.30 and was somewhere else from 10.30 to 12 a.m. and then at 12.30 a.m. came back to my property. And as you see, it was landed right on top of my trailer or hovering directly above my trailer. The square is my trailer on my property. And again, 660 feet in the middle of my 30 acre property, minding my own damn business. And as you see, and we had a, a major issue that day that we had uh, files being deleted our Microsoft account was compromised, our Microsoft Cloud was compromised, and um, my system was compromised. They created a user with full administrative access on my laptop while I was using it, and then started deleting my files. And I had to take everything offline, and we're in the process of completely re-cleaning the system and reinstalling everything over from scratch. So I haven't been able to do any of my work or any of the stuff that I need to be taken care of because we had to put everything at an absolute halt, lock down everything so that we could get them out of the accounts. Microsoft, the FCC, the FBI Cyber Crimes Unit, uh, and T-Mobile because T-Mobile picked up their interference and their, um, on my line, on my uh, connection are all investigating so I hope they get caught and again these are the locals that are doing this this, this is some foreign someone from far away this is the local um, Fallon Navy Air Station and the local law enforcement this is an and locals criminals there is a crime ring here in Fallon Nevada that involves rogue military, and I'm saying rogue because my family's military, and the military doesn't play this mess. These people are have access to military grade equipment. They have access to the base because six over 600 times, and that was just one of the years. That was only half of one of the years, actually. My devices and my accounts and my uh, everything was accessed, both personal and business from the Navy base and I've never been to the base and the majority of the times this thing that deploys and, and hangs out here until I reported it to the uh, Navy Attorney General almost every time it was deployed it was coming from the base now it's coming from other locations to my location but before it was always being deployed from the from the Fallon Naval Air Station and we have that recorded on record we have the coordinates, we can even tell you what building, and I have never to this date ever been to the base. So we know they're involved. There's no anus or buts about that. And I've had problems with um, Navy delinquents being on my property trespassing with the hot rods, with the Dodge Chargers and the Chevy Car Cavaliers, or the Chevy Chargers and Dodge Cavaliers. I think I had it right the first time, Dodge Chargers and Chevy Cavaliers. Uh, ripping and racing and drag racing through the middle of my property to an area that's off behind my property where they have a, a racetrack. And these same people also hang out at Top Gun. And uh, I've got some of their license plates. And I found out some of their names because they were drag racing their vehicles at the Top Gun uh, raceway. And it had the, the numbers of the vehicles the pictures of the vehicles, the numbers of the vehicles, and the name of the owner or the person who was driving the vehicle uh, displayed on um, their website. And so I've got two of the people's names from that. 
but um, they got pissed because I wasn't allowing them to just rip and race through all hours and nights on my property and they want to do whatever they want to do and you shut up and sit down and mind your own business. It is my business. This is my property. And no, you ain't doing whatever the hell you want to on my property. So uh, we kept locking the gates and, and closing the gates and they were tearing down the fences and um, driving through fences. I mean, just all kinds of stupid childish they, they are extremely childish for the record. A lot of the petty crap that they've done around here with the vandalism and then the killing of the animals and all this mess has been so childish. It's ridiculous. And it makes me very concerned. Again, my family's six generations military. If this is what how our military behaves, we are in serious trouble in any kind of conflict. They have no discipline. They have no loyalty. It used to mean something to put on a uniform, something very sacred and very important. Not going around committing petty thefts and petty crimes and using it so you can walk around like a, a peacock with your chest puffed out around town bullying the locals. I have seen some of the most atrocious, egregious behavior by these local Navy white males, let me be clear, and they behave like skinheads. I've seen a lot of other Navy people around and it hasn't been any of them acting out. It's the white males and I'm being very specific about that because with the exclusion of one of the guys in this group of five that likes to hang out together, primarily a blonde and uh, brunette seem to be the ringleaders, um, he's either Native American or Hispanic. But the rest of the group is Caucasians. There's only one blonde in the group. All the rest are brunettes. And I've given a full description to the best of my ability to the Navy um, Attorney General over a year ago. And so, um, but yeah, these are naval juvenile delinquents. We know one law enforcement officer is involved, or let's just put it this way. He's at the location multiple times when my stuff was being hacked and accessed. A couple of times I got mad and I got in my car and I drove to where it said I was supposed to be and my stuff was being accessed from. And there was a, a, a law enforcement vehicle parked there at that location. So, and also things like Stingray technology have been being used and the general public doesn't know a whole lot about this technology and that's one of the things that they've been doing here in Fallon is taking advantage of the fact because it's a small town and it's a lot of older people here they don't have any perception of how advanced technology has become and the things that are capable of being done 90 percent of the stuff that's happening most people don't even know is possible let alone know that it's happening and likely happening to them as well because this type of technology doesn't just capture one person's devices and their information, it has a wide net. Everyone within a five mile range of the Harmon Junction um, cell tower and the Rattlesnake, which you keep seeing Rattlesnake Hill pop up there at the, over there by the cell tower. Devices are compromised. Their data is compromised. Their privacy is compromised. And they don't get that. They don't understand it because they're not understanding the capabilities of technology. And a lot of people say, well, if you don't have anything to hide, what do you care if other people see your stuff? You care very much because like in our case, they're pretending to be our businesses. They're pretending to be us. They're using us and our names and our reputations to get access to people to defraud them. They're committing multiple frauds and identity theft. And like I said, a lot of crime. There is a cyber crime ring and otherwise crime ring here in Fallon. And so you can't let stuff like that go. They have, ac have access every single vital information for myself, my businesses, most likely family members of mine because I had their information and what they're doing with it is of vital importance. What people don't understand is a person can take your identity, go overseas, commit crimes, 
and have warrants and stuff in other countries for your arrest. And request to have you extradited, if it's serious enough. Um, there's all kinds of major, major, major things that can take place when someone is pretending to be you or stealing or identity thefting you or your business and things of that nature. And so it's, it's, a, it's of absolute vital importance that this is dealt with and dealt with heavily. And the FBI, the FCC, the Naval Attorney General, uh, local law enforcement, the good guys, um, major companies like Microsoft and Google and T-Mobile are all involved with this investigation because um, we've been established the fact that the, the security breaches exist. We've been recording and monitoring everything they do for some time now. And uh, they keep getting bolder and bolder and pushing the envelope a little bit further because they think they're not going to get caught. They've been caught. And everything they do is just adding additional counts to the major crimes that they're committing. The smallest of the crimes that they've committed has a 20 year sentence just to give you an idea of the magnitude of what's happening here so they're already caught and they just keep adding more and more onto it so we just have to deal with it every day one day at a time meanwhile it's teaching me to be so much more diligent you can't relax with modern technology you can't leave it alone and I'll check on it once a week or I'll check on it, you know. No, you gotta be on top of it 24 seven and know what's going on with your accounts, with your devices daily. And so it's taught me to be a hell of a lot more vigilant than I normally would be and actually really prefer to be to the point where it's like, I've, I'm a senior citizen. I've lived an entire lifetime without any of this stuff. I can live another lifetime without it. So it's making me seriously question, do I even want to be bothered with it at all? How about get rid of it and then you don't have to worry about breaches of security and have to worry about dealing with all the foolishness and all the extra time and effort that you have to put in to protect and secure this new modern technology. The um, vulnerabilities outweigh the conveniences in my in my eyes but I've spent an entire lifetime without this kind of stuff so and I'm from a family my father used to work with NASA and stuff we had computers that took up entire rooms in our house when I was a child so I've been around technology my entire life long before anybody else even knew about technology we grew up with it so Again, the, the data breaches, the security breaches, the constant having to monitor and check everything. And if you forget or don't watch something, even for a couple of hours, something can happen. That's annoying. That's a pain in the ass. That's a lot of wasted time and energy to me. So um, I'm going to be gearing towards getting rid of as much technology as possible because I, the old school way, none of this mess could happen. None of the, the breaches, none of the a complete stranger getting access to our personal file. You would have to break into my location to mess with anything. And you'd have to deal with me first before you would get there. And I'm not playing no games. So sometimes the old ways are the better ways. And all this new, modern, fancy, smancy stuff, it's fun. I love technology. It's fun until it's not. So that's my personal take on it. And this is being dealt with. This is, this is going, there's going to be consequences. There's going to be severe consequences. So just trying to wait it out because the agencies, of course, when you're dealing with the federal government, everybody has to cross their T's and dot their I's and make sure that they have everything that they need. And um, sometimes it, it's like, watching paint dry so 
I'm just going to have to be patient with the situation, I guess, to some extent. I guess. And um, continue to document everything that's happening.